I'm Colin Lambie, I'm with the Bendigo Sustainability Group and uh, Keith myself and another fellow, Keith, uh, Chris Weir, uh, we put together the project to put the solar on the library here. Probably one of the most outstanding elements of the, uh, the project has been the crowdsource funding. We went out to the community and sought donations and we covered the entire cost which was absolutely fantastic. So we've got a 20 kilowatt system on the, on the Bendigo Library and that's been developed in partnership with Council. But it was a, a two-year journey that um, let us look at leasing arrangements and power purchasing agreements. But the best thing about it all was that the money that we would have been sending outside of the city in what we were paying for the tariff for energy was going to stay in the city by having an arrangement with Bendigo Sustainability Group. We see climate change as a, as a critical issue to, that needs to be dealt with. And we see that transitioning from fossil fuel generation to renewable generation is something that we're very committed to and motivated to see as much of that happen across Bendigo as possible. I think um, the experience that we've been able to work through has developed a template for other community organisations and community groups and and the legal framework is probably the most daunting for other organisations to work through that. So having that template and having it available, I think really gives them a, a giant leap ahead of having to start from scratch. We see this as a model for uh, many time, happening many times over in uh, this community, but also across Victoria. There's thousands of roofs out there that can take solar mm. and, and keeps the money in Bendigo. Instead of going to uh, these companies that sell the electricity, some of which are not even based in Australia, um, you know, this keeps it right in this community.